What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and this time it's something different, something completely unexpected from I'm pretty sure all of you who are watching this video. I am reviewing the I don't know what it is action figure series product numero uno, Black Lily, I don't know what any of this says. Widowmaker figure from Overwatch and for those of you who think I bought this just because I like the figure I actually play Overwatch so yeah if you want to see me come get it no I'm just kidding I suck at this game haven't played it in a couple of months but doesn't matter anyway this is about the figure and man this thing looks awesome I'm ready to bust it open so for those of you who are interested keep on viewing because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this review and I hope you guys enjoy it as well now you guys always know what I start with in my reviews and that is that sexy packaging. Now as you can see it's more similar to a Figma style packaging. Pretty cool, just the window boxing. Nothing too amazing about it but anyway let's go ahead and get into it. It says action figure series right there. I'm guessing this is probably the brand or either Black Lily. All this stuff is in Japanese slash Chinese so I'm really not sure what everything it says but it says warning this is not a toy for ages 8 and up so and that's a period right there so it's saying this is for kids ages 8 and up I believe it should say 15 and up but whatever don't know what this is right here I'm guessing it's the logo on the side we got product number one right here Black Lily once again I'm thinking that's probably her name in I don't know I'm guessing that's just another name for Widowmaker, so I'm thinking that's what they mean by that. But anyway, cool image right here. Cool image on the bottom. Same image, actually. Nothing special about it. Cool image on the back right here. As you can see, a whole bunch of stuff in Japanese, so nothing special about that. And then this cool image on the side, once again, with the name Black Lily. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her name. I don't think that's a brand or anything. So, yeah, anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and bust this figure open and take a look at it. Now, first impressions of this figure is that... She is extremely tall, but I mean, it's correct because in the game, she's a pretty tall character, one of the tallest, not to say, but um, man, this figure looks and feels awesome. Now, I will say it does feel a little bit loose, but I'm guessing this is because it's a newer company and they're just not used to tight joints, but so far, articulation and all that seems extremely good, man. A lot of this figure just... It seems like it works well, especially for product number one of whatever company this is. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get into that. Let's just take a look at her height real quick and see how tall she stands. Now, to the top of her helmet, she stands right at seven inches. So I'm guessing you would say she's a seven inch scale figure. I don't know if it's just necessarily because she's tall, but I will be doing some size comparisons later on in the video. So if you guys are curious about that, just give it a second, bear with me. We'll see how she stands next to some other figures. Now moving right along to that articulation. Now articulation wise, her head looks up about that much. I'm not gonna force anything with this figure because I don't know how this brand joints work, but um, she looks down about that much her neck is a little bit loose all of her body parts are a little bit loose so just letting you guys know but she looks down pretty far this is articulated i want to say it's on a hinge so you can move it just about however you want and it looks good it's really solid the way they did it and it's almost unrecognizable that it's even there so it's cool it's a small peg right there and it just looks like it's a piece of her hair but arms go out that much which is extremely good of course can go all the way around however you want a single jointed elbow that's all that is right there so not much range but it definitely works her hand let's see here her hand is on whatever you want to call this kind of peg I'm not sure but um it works well you can move it around of course it's gonna be hindered a little bit by the edge of her gauntlets but that's not too much she does have a diaphragm joint right here so you can move that around swivel it a little bit which is extremely awesome does have a slight waist joint but you can't do much with it so I don't know if you really want to count that one but the diaphragm joint makes up for it leg kicks out that much which is good kicks back that much I love legs that can kick back that's awesome she does have double jointed knees however which is extremely good no swivel or anything like that she does have a really good ankle pivot you can move her foot forward that much down that much and she doesn't have a toe hinge but articulation wise I will say she's extremely good like everything works I, I really dig it now I will say on this arm 
this piece it is hindering a, a little bit so you can't move it as far up as you can move this one of course but as i said it's a piece so you really can't help that it's awesome though articulation wise i gotta give it to them a plus on this figure now moving right along to them accessories now for accessories she comes with her standard looking face which is very needed she comes with a trigger holding right hand and a slightly open palm I would say this is for her sniper more than likely it's kind of like she's holding her weapon from the bottom so a slightly open palm hand Let's see if I can get her to stand back up she does stand pretty well from time to time her feet are loose so yeah it's not perfect every time she comes with like a pow hand which is extremely cool I dig that she comes with another trigger holding or gun holding hand where she's pulling the trigger so it's always good to get two of those instead of one and she comes with my most favorite a middle finger you cannot beat that man I really wish Bandai would have done that with the Stone Cold Steve Austin but these guys this figure company is brave I really dig something like this now she also comes with her sniper face when she's about to go into snipe mode or when she goes into snipe mode whatever this is pretty cool but all these circles kind of creep me out man I got arachnophobia real bad so just seeing a bunch of red dots that look like eyes make me think instantly spiders so yeah, I don't know. I won't be posing her with that on too much, but it's cool. I dig it. She comes with her weapon, which looks extremely awesome. So much detail in this thing, man. Like, I really dig it. I It said that this was a knockoff figure, but I don't believe it. This is something awesome. I hope that this brand really comes up, man, because this, this just looks extremely awesome. And to make matters even better... Here's another one. This is her sniper, and God, man, it's the same gun, of course, just adjusted a little bit for the sniper to come out, and man, it looks so awesome. This is the last accessory that she comes with, but I mean, it's enough. She comes with most definitely enough, and God, this stuff looks so awesome. So anyway, those are all of her accessories, if I can talk, but um, I don't know. I'm just so amazed by this stuff, man. Like, I can't even talk. It's just, it's so cool, these accessories. But anyway, moving right along, let's get into some size comparisons. Now for some size comparisons, here she is standing next to the DC Icon 7-Pack Batman and the DC Icon 7-Pack Flash. And they look good next to her. Like I said, she is a tall character, so maybe you could say she fits in scale with them. I'm going to leave that judgment up to you guys, but honestly, it looks fine to me. Uh, I would say, in my opinion, she probably looks about 7-inch scale, but let's see how she's standing next to some more. Now for some more size comparisons, here she is standing next to the Mafex Dawn of Justice Armored Batman and the Mezco Dawn of Justice regular Ben Affleck Batman. And as you can see, Mezco is a little bit bigger in size than the average 6 inch, but still Ben Affleck does not stand close to her. She's a little bit taller, so once again it's looking like she's more of a 7 inch figure. And of course you guys know I had to throw some Dragon Ball Z's in there. Here is her standing next to the SH Figure Arts Universe 6 Art Goku and the SH Figure Arts Cell Saga Battle Damage Gohan. And as you guys can see, even to the top of Goku's hair, she's still taller than him. So, yeah, I guess that proves my point to be true. Anyway, still looks dope. Moving right along. Now, my final thoughts on this figure are that if you are a collector and you are a collector that plays Overwatch... You need this figure. Now, I will say I paid about $79 for it, but that's also because there was a statue version of her that was out that was running around $40, $50, and $60, and I bought two of those, and they kept telling me it wasn't the right version, so I had to wait because a lot of people on eBay were stealing pictures and posting this one up, and it wasn't this one, so it was a whole lot of confusion with buying this figure. I should have had it a long time ago, way before I ended up getting it. So yeah, anyway, I do highly recommend this figure. I mean, I don't know this line, but they're awesome, man. For this to be their first figure, for this to just be something they even created on the first try and it come out this great, I am definitely loving this brand already. I hope they continue to make more Overwatch figures because I want Genji, Hanzo, 
um, everybody, man. Tracer, I'm pretty sure they're going to make Tracer May. Just so many people. So, highly recommend this figure. If you guys do like Overwatch, I do recommend getting it. But anyway, that's all I got to say about this one. Hope you guys like the review. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Like the video, of course, that's the same thing. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't know why you're here if you're not. So, as always, I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Don't forget to look at the pictures.